Hey everyone, let's talk about dashboard filters in Metabase. First, let's see filters in action on this example dashboard. You can see filters up there on top. Right now, the dashboard is not filtered. There are no values in these widgets. So let's use this date filter and change the time range to start in June. See the data on the cards has changed. We have different order number and the time series combo chart only includes dates from my date range. I can also filter by product category and the numbers changed again. I can see only two categories on this bar chart. And even though category is not a dimension on most of these charts, all of them were still filtered because the filter is connected to the underlying data. Dashboard filters apply across tabs. I can pick California as location on this uh, overview tab. And if I switch to the demographics tab, the map shows me only results from California. Okay, so let's create a dashboard and add filters to it. I made this little dashboard. It's based on the built-in sample data, if you want to follow along. And let's say I want to add a dashboard filter for product category, like the one we just saw on the example dashboard. Click on Edit Dashboard, and then on the Filter Funnel icon, and select Text or Category. These filter types determine which fields you can connect the filters to and how the filters will look. Let me give it a better name. And now I have to select which fields I'm going to use for filtering on every dashboard card. I'm going to pick product category on the first card and Metabase tries to automatically connect the filter to other cards that have the same field. I can undo this outer wiring if I don't like it, but it's very convenient when you have a lot of cards. I also see that Metabase did not pick up the category field in this last card, so I can connect it myself. Make sure to check the filter connection on all the cards. Done. I save and let's observe this filter in action. Select a category and my data changes. Sometimes you might want to leave a card disconnected from a filter. For example, this pie chart with one category looks kind of silly. It would be more useful to always keep the entire category breakdown, but still filter the rest of the dashboard. So I edit a dashboard, click on the filter gear icon and remove the link from the card. Now my unlinked card does not change when I select a category, but the rest of the dashboard does. Let's also add a date filter. I edit a dashboard, add filter, pick time, name the filter and pick fields to connect to. Save and try it out. This filter widget shows a bunch of options for time periods like last seven days, which is different from the date range filter which we saw on the example dashboard. You can change how a filter widget looks, go to edit, filter settings, and let me choose quarter and year. The filter looks different. So in your work, think about what kind of filter is most useful for your specific dashboard. If it's a quarterly report, then a quarterly filter probably makes more sense than a filter that gives you last seven days as an option. I can also configure the logic of how the filter is applied. Let's say I wanted to filter for orders of shoes. Let me quickly add a product filter. I could use this filter and select all the shoes one by one, but that's a lot of work. So instead, I'll change the logic. In the filter settings, I can change the filter operation to contains. And now I have an input box and I can just filter for titles that contain shoes. Take a look at the results in this table. And finally, I can require the dashboard to always be filtered. Uh, for example, I might have a dashboard that displays a report about a customer with their names, activity, payments, and it only makes sense to display this when there is a customer filter. I can tell Metabase to make a filter required. For example, let's edit this category filter. In filter settings, I'll say that people can only pick a single category and I'll set it to require a value. And because it's required, I'll also need to specify a default value. My category filter now looks different. I can only select a single value and there is no option for me to remove a filter. Now I can use this dashboard as a summary report on a product category. There's a lot more you can do in Metabase with dashboard filters. You can use them in text cards. You can link filters together so that values in one filter are determined by values in another, or you can customize charts so that clicking on a chart would update the filter and a lot more. 